When you're studying, music or no music? Oh, classical. Oh, great. <laughs> Very loud Afro pop, Afro beats. No music. <laughs> I, <laughs> zero music. What is your comfort meal? Mm -hmm. Fried chicken. Do you consider zero to be a natural number or not? Oh, these are math questions. <laughs> After you had a successful mission, would you dance and hug your colleagues as they do in the movies? <laughs> Have you ever encountered anything shocking at Caltech? Only in Red Door at 12 a.m. from the undergrads. Do you want to say more about that? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs>it's always refreshing to see the curiosity, uh, the interest, you know, of young mm -hmm. people who are coming with fresh ideas. And so I almost learn more from you than you learn from wow, me being a mentor. It's, it's really a, a relationship between the student and the faculty, intellectual relationship. Tanasha, you're from Zimbabwe, which is obviously very far away from Caltech. Can you just let us know a little bit about your journey that, that brought you here? There was an economic crisis that happened in Zimbabwe in the like, mid-2000s that I lived through. Seeing the interplay between like economic decisions and the lived experiences of people, I really saw how mathematics can be used to solve really an interesting range of problems. One unique thing about Caltech is our relationship with the Jet Propulsion Lab. I never thought as a material scientist that I would be able to work with NASA on creating new materials for space exploration. Every day I discover something more about space exploration that really excites me within this little realm of material science. Lift off. As director of JPL for 16 years, you oversaw 24 missions to space. Can you name all 24? <laughs> well, that will take a while to name. But every mission left an impact because every mission led us to learn something new. So, yeah, if I sit down quietly, I think I can name all of them. If you could solve any scientific problem in the world, what would it be? How do we design AI tools while being able to guarantee some form of fairness, a lack of bias? What's your favorite algorithm? Merge, sort. I think there's this idea of like breaking problems down into smaller problems. That's such a useful idea in like life in general. You, you can sort of like look at a monstrous big problem, but then you just like take it in chunks and like you solve it. It's amazing to see how the progress in science is made step by step. That's what I like about research, even if it could be something small. Yeah. It, it might lead to something bigger. You know, let me tell you, we're very similar. I mean, when, when I did my PhD, it was all theoretical. Yeah. And it was not immediately obvious, you know, what's going to be the benefit. But fast forward, a lot of that work have led me to do work developing satellite imaging radars, which yeah. now they are being used to generate global topography, uh, to monitor earthquakes, to look at how the health of vegetation when I was sitting down working my equation and my integrals, yeah. I never thought that it's, yeah, exactly. going lead, yeah. it's going to lead to all of that. Yeah, but exactly. you know, every step forward, uh, based uh, in fundamental or in theory and so on, I'm sure it would lead to some major development downstream. What's the best piece of advice you've gotten? To take my science seriously, but not take myself too seriously. Oh, wonderful advice. So what's been the biggest highlight for you when it comes to working with students? As researchers, we can get very kind of deep in, in the weeds for things and we can kind of lose track of why we're doing the research. 
what's fantastic is you get to talk to students who have kind of brand new ideas, who have an excitement for the field. And in, in many ways, just, just bring kind of creativity and energy to something. Like Caltech is the only place where I can do what I'm doing. At any other school, I'd have to find an economic professor and a machine learning professor, but like here at Caltech, I got you. <laughs> I was amazed by the amount of collaborations between different faculty members. We very much encourage interdisciplinary yes. research because we think that's where the future advances exactly. are going to be yes, happening. Yes, I, I also believe that like the greatest ideas come, like, come from combining different fields together. Yeah. Caltech is an opportunity. Mm. I feel like being a graduate student at Caltech is like having the golden ticket and it could change your life. It's a place where there are very few barriers to science and very few barriers between disciplines and research areas. It's really its great strength. Because of the diversity of research here, whatever you are dreaming Thanks. about, Caltech will yeah. give you a good foundation. We all are at Caltech because we want to do great science. We want to make a difference. Really, if you're going to make a big bet on science, Caltech is the place to be.